if I had to answer the question, is there a black community in Britain? Is there a black British community? I would have to say when my family first moved to the UK, we joined a black population that was overwhelmingly made up of people from the Caribbean. These were people who either had come during the so-called Windrush era, 1940s, 50s and 60s, or they were children of those who had come in that era. Being black in those days very much was about being part of this Caribbean community. My parents not so much, but me and my brothers very much saw ourselves as kind of like grafted in to this black Caribbean population. And rightly so, because these people, these brethren of ours had founded the black pop population here in the UK. They had come in the 1940s, 50s and 60s and they were the ones who had to battle against the hostility, the anti-blackness, the racism. They were the ones who through, through technologies like Pardna and other cooperative economic tools like credit unions, they had established a foothold. The Caribbean or West Indian population at that time was pretty homogenous, pretty unified, pretty together. They had created what I consider to be a fairly homogenous, a fairly unified black community. This was expressed in things like the Black People's Day of Action in 1981, when in New Cross there was, a, there was an attack on a house party of, of mainly black participants, which resulted in 13 people being killed. And the Queen of England didn't say nothing about it. The government was uninterested. And so upwards of 25,000 black people marched through London during the Black People's Day of Action. A, a, a phenomenal uh, amount of people during a working day as well. Bearing in mind the population, the black population at that time, maybe was only around, around 1 million people. So a, a very high percentage of them went on this march. The films, films like Babylon, film, films like Pressure, documentaries like Blacks Britannia. And then of course you had the music. You had your bands like Aswad, Steel Pulse, Matumbi and so forth. But then you also had Lover's Rock, which emerged in the 1980s, which was a, a beautiful genre. You know, that's what I cut my teeth on. As far as music is concerned, that was the music that I was listening to because my older brother was listening to the reggae coming from Jamaica and the Lover's Rock coming from, from Britain and Jamaica. Almost all of the prominent black British people, if you want to call them that, were from the Caribbean. You had the MPs, Diane Abbott, of course, Bernie Grant, of course, they were among the first black MPs in this country. But it wasn't like there were no Africans in this country at that time. But And by that, I mean people who had come directly from the continent of Africa. You had many Africans who were here in, in significant numbers. Amongst those first black MPs that I talked about, you had Diane Abbott, you had Bernie Grant, but you also had Paul Whiteng, who was partly of Ghanaian origin. And I mentioned Lover's Rock, this beautiful music called Lover's Rock. One of the most famous Lover's Rock singers was a sister called Jean Adebambo. And as you can see from her surname, that's a Nigerian origin surname. She sung the beautiful song Paradise. If you haven't heard that song, please listen to it, man. You're, you're wasting your life unless you've heard that song. Now, me growing up, going to school in the 80s and 90s, pretty much all of the black people that I was friends with, most of my friends were black, and pretty much all of them were Caribbean. There were one or two Nigerians, but most of them were, were Caribbean. And even going right into secondary school, there was some kind of, you know, some banter and... and so-called hostility but it was jovial it was it was banter between brethren that's what it was so I, I never felt like I was being ostracized or looked down on or or isolated because I was Ugandan we very much saw ourselves as one in those days and that was a good thing but is that still the case today well when you look at the, the demographics you see there was quite a significant change in the black demographics in this country starting from about the 1990s in particular it seems like immigration from africa in particular west africa particularly nigeria and to a lesser extent ghana really ramped up in the late 1990s and certainly through the noughties so when you compare the figures from 2001 to 2011, you see that the, the relative size of the Caribbean versus the African populations flipped. Whereas the Caribbeans were the majority, even up to 2001, come 2011, the Africans had become a majority by a rate of two to one. So there were twice as many Africans as there were Caribbeans. So before we continue, we need to ask ourselves, what is a community? The, the, the topic of this video is about the black British community. Well, what's a community? I think of a community as being a group of people, either in a particular location or across various different locations, who see themselves as being connected by similar histories, interests, lineages, culture, language, religion, and, and values and those kinds of things. And it's very clear to me and to anyone who's, who's got eyes and ears to see that the black community or the black population in this country 
is nowhere near as cohesive as it was back in the ninth, up to about the 1980s and maybe up to the 1990s. With the increase of immigration from Africa, you've seen immigration coming from different countries. Nigeria and Somalia are probably the two prominent ones. Then you've got Ghana, Zimbabwe, more recently Congo and, and places like that. And these are very different countries. They've all got very different histories. They've got different languages, different cultures, different economic, political stability. You know, you compare somewhere like Somalia, for example, with Ghana. Somalia has had a much more tumultuous history than Ghana has. And a lot of the, the Somalis who came to this country, particularly coming from about the 1990s, were coming as refugees from the civil war in, in Somalia. That's gonna have an impact on their, their outcomes when they come to this country versus say someone who's come from Nigeria as a university educated person who's come here to work, that their, their lives are gonna be quite different because of where they're coming from. And that's a key thing with regard to the population of black people in this country. And this is something that a lot of people have pointed out in my previous videos. I made a video about the black middle class, the black British middle class asking, asking is there actually a black middle, black British middle class? And a lot of people in the comments pointed out that, well, not really, because they're, we come from very different places. We've got different kinds of life outcomes, and it's not really fair to be lumping us all together under this label of black British, because we're all very, very different. And it's very, very true. If you compare the educational outcomes of Nigerians versus the education, educational outcomes of Somalis, you'll see some marked differences, which are explained in a lot of cases by the different places that they've come from and the different, what they've brought to this country when they came here. If I'm honest, if I had to answer the question, is there a black community in Britain? Is there a black British community? I would have to say not really, because remember community is a, is a lot of, a lot of being a community is about feeling togetherness with the other members of the community. For me, having moved out of London to a smaller town outside of London, I was quite surprised that when I would see other black people, because there's not that many black people here, I would be thinking, all right, yes, hail them up, say hello and whatnot, because that's what we used to do when I was a youth in Hackney and Leighton when we'd see black people, because, you know, again, it was a more, much more of a cohesive community. We would hail each other up and say hello. We don't really see that so much here where, I, where I'm living. And I think that's a, that's a result of the fact that a lot of the people who live around here, the black people who live around here, are more recent immigrants who don't really share that kind of shared black identity that we have, those of us who have been here for decades have. So that's all I wanna say in this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I look forward to your thoughts on, on, on what I've said here about whether there is a black community in this country, a black British community in this country. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Take care of yourselves and I will speak to you soon.